Sure, there's live translate features on calls or texts with the new Galaxy S24, but did you know this phone can turn any video into a slow motion vid with practically no skipping frames? Well, yes, obviously. That's why I'm standing in front of the camera right now talking to you. If you hold down on any video in Samsung Gallery, you can watch it at half speed. Still, if you want to edit a video to permanently slowify it, you'll need to go into the phone's trim tool and hit the adjust speed button. How does the phone do this? Well, by inserting AI-generated frames into the video without impacting the default 30fps frame rate. It will also work on videos you take with any other device, so it's surprisingly versatile. As cool as it is, there's still issues. The video might look fine on your phone, but watching it from a computer, the slow-mo has a sense of excessive camera blur, especially when the phone and object are in motion. The interface isn't great other than just putting your thumb to the screen, and it's hard to select specific parts of video you want to cut. You can't edit multiple different clips within the same video to go at different speeds either, so you'll need to get good at snipping off videos at the right time. And of course, you could just use the regular slow motion setting to record your cool stunts or whatever else you have going on. But if you're like me and you have some videos sitting on your camera you'd like to see in a little bit more detail without having to yell ENHANCE at the screen, then the Galaxy AI is pretty damn capable. There's a fair few interesting or occasionally useful AI features on the S24, like one that automatically organizes your jottings in Samsung Notes or Google Circle to Search that essentially brings Google Lens to every app on your phone. None of these are game changers though. They might make your life a little bit less of a hassle though. I'm still waiting for something truly standout that will mark the real AI revolution on smartphones. Likely that'll be when Google, Samsung, and Apple all replace their digital assistants with chatbots. Me, I'd rather just have Clippy back. <laughs>